Hey guys, Dr. K here for our Sunset Musings. Hello, hello, hello. I am trying to find a spot here. It's a little overgrown where you can get a good view at the sun. Ooh, ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Check this out. <gasps> Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, and with the cactus. Oh, you guys. It's hard sometimes to find a really good spot where we get a good visual. I'm not able to be at my regular places today because I have a meeting right after a certain time. So I thought, oh, let me find a place that we can all enjoy the sunset. And this is so perfect because look at that. It's going behind a cloud and it's going to come out again from the bottom. Oh, this is the best part. It's like a double sunset. I always call that. Sets behind a cloud and it comes out. Oh, I'm so happy you guys can see this. This is so beautiful. Hopefully it comes up really good. No wind today. All you're gonna hear is some cars from the road probably. I couldn't get far enough from the road. Oh, look at that you guys. Let's walk a little bit. Come with me. Let's walk over here. They'll give us, oh, check it out. I'll just turn the other way. Hey, hi Mary. Come enjoy the sunset. Isn't that beautiful today? Check it out. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. I'm going to share with you while you're enjoying this. The cactus is perfect in there, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's lovely. It's a shame I don't have a little dingo here that would tell me if you say you can see it or not. But oh, this is perfect. Hi, Mary. I'll read your thingy in a second. I wanted to share with you today. Oh, what a day. We have been so busy at the office and my very first patient, it was so beautiful. She came in and she's doing some profound healing and she's on a beautiful healing journey. And she was so excited to see a moth in our office. I have no idea where it came from. It like showed up. It was there for a while. She was telling me the story about a moth. And then literally after we're complete, the moth was gone. Like, I don't know where it went, but she said that moth, oh, this is beautiful. Moth is a sign of transformation. And I thought, oh, wow, that would explain a lot. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes transformation is easy and there's a beautiful flow and we go with it. And sometimes, more often than not, rather, unfortunately, there's some bumps on the road. You know, and it's like, have you ever, have you ever noticed like transformation is oftentimes in a way that we see things one way and they really want to be other, a different way underneath. And there's a little bit of resistance and moving in the direction. And then also there's a little bit of almost like conflict, internal conflict about what is presenting and what may be the expectation. So I thought, okay, that may be what is going on on the bigger picture because there are like these opposing energies presenting for so many uh, patients that I'm seeing, including myself really. And sometimes it's harder to go with the flow. So I'll just encourage you that this is the season for most of us anyway, not for all of us. And the less resistance there is to what is presenting the easier it tends to be. Oh, okay, the sun is almost behind the mountain and the clouds are going to be so beautiful, you guys, today. I'll hang here as soon, as long as I can before I need to go for my meeting, but so far, this is just lovely. Oh. No matter what the day brings, this, this part of the day always brings such peace and such joy. And, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, look at that. Almost, almost. I have, I have friends and they're playing a game. They always say, going, 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 going. 
still going, still going, <laughs> going, going, still going, and gone. <laughs> they always play, it's so much fun. And it's gone. Yeah, so good to see you guys today. Let's see, Mary, what were you saying over here? Let me pull it up. Doctor, my five-year-old grandson takes zinc and D3 for his immune system going forward. He's back in school wearing the mask six hours a day. Oh boy. Yeah, they just take a little bit less, you know. They just need to do, um, like we take 30 milligrams, then take they can take five, 10 milligrams of zinc and they don't need that much vitamin C, 500 milligrams probably the most. Make sure it's the organic one or the one with bioflavonoids. Make sure it um, it comes from either acerola cherries or citrus fruit or something more natural. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then if he can do like, you know, the berry greens, um, a lot of kids actually enjoy that. Instead of the green green, you can just give them the better greens and even mix it with some blueberries, banana. I give it to him, maybe even instead. I have no idea what happened. Well, we just stopped and I'm back. So hopefully you can join me again. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, hopefully we'll probably have two videos right now. But we this one is a follow up. We just witnessed a beautiful sunset that I hope is going to be recorded because it was just lovely and i'm not sure why i lost you over here but i'll just continue yes mary so the greens first berry are you back hope so the greens first berry um, is the one that may be better for children than having to actually take vitamin c and vitamin d and all of that because it provides natural nutrients Mary, are you back? I'm sorry, I'm no, I have no idea what happened, but we're back here. So yes, oh good, okay, perfect. Sorry about that, no idea. Must have pressed something without even knowing. But if you didn't catch it, um, yes, they can do that in the lower doses or grab something like the berry greens for children. You can mix it with banana and all the good stuff. Okay, good, 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 yeah, he, he'll love it and it'll be so good for him, so cool, perfect, yeah. I know the masks are tough right now, you guys. Uh, especially for children because again they're not proven to work and yeah it's unfortunate so remember we talked about transformation that'll be on the other video but what I wanted to share with you today I had a beautiful experience with a patient besides the moth and transformation I have um, I do a lot of ozone treatment you know that and we also use the ozone to actually inject it into joints right directly and as number one nutrient it really supports the joints really easy oh here guys look at that this is a baby sawara i was telling you yesterday see how tiny it is you can't probably see it so much but it's not longer than my just my forearm isn't that beautiful oh i love these guys so the protozone is so effective you know if if you know somebody who's thinking about just be basically either has pain in their joints or has been told that they need replacement surgery of oh i'm glad you liked it cuckoo shoulder replacement knee replacement hip replacement you name it this treatment is a must and first of all you know it costs some money it's not that expensive if you take the big picture of it um you need about two or three but i have seen so many patients that avoid it actually a uh, uh, joint replacement surgery like really this is so effective because all we're putting in is we're putting in liquid nutrients and ozone which is the number one nutrient oxygen in some i have really seen some magical thing happen and what he told me today which is which is interesting because it came from his doctor and it came from a nurse practitioner that he saw he they found it in an mri for his shoulder I, they, I know, Cheryl, I know. It's good to see you. I was talking about your moth today. You must have missed it, but it's on my other video. So hopefully that recorded. So I was telling everybody about the moth and the transformation. That was so beautiful. Anyway, so the lovely part is cortisol shots. You guys have heard about cortisol shots, right? And they're being used to calm down the pain. And I have a lot of patients come in and they're thinking, I'm getting cortisol shot and it's providing healing 
and the opposite unfortunately it's the true is the truth and having this come so black and white from this patient from his doctor I'll share with you what the doctor told him he said you have a tear in your tendon we suggest that you do shoulder replacement surgery because there's a couple tears and or what we could do we could inject a cortisol shot in there and that will weaken your tendon and the tendon will just pop off and the pain will go away there will be a little bit of a you know little difference in using the shoulder but the pain will be gone so basically we're going to use the cortisone shot to weaken the tendon for the tendon to basically come off by itself and that's really what happens the cortisol what it does the shot calms down the pain but it doesn't support the healing quite the opposite it actually weakens the area um, he told me he spoke to another lady her insurance agent and she said she had to go for hip replacement because her doctor gave her six cortisol shots in her hip with it within six months and it basically her hip gave out it's like the tendons couldn't hold the hip anymore and she had to have the hip replacement so if for some reason you need to absolutely get a, a cortisol shot remember it is not the answer it doesn't create healing it's like a band-aid and I highly suggest if that has to happen that you come and have somebody inject the nutrients in there so the tendons can actually recover instead of weakening them um, so again it's the there's there is a solution versus there is a covering up problem that takes the symptom away per se but doesn't do the healing so remember that's available it's a it's available in natural medicine in general but this one I thought was so profound because it came from an actual um, orthopedic doctor saying you know I'll inject the cortisol for you in order to weaken the tendon so I thought that was very profound so guys cortisol shots do not heal they only suppress it's so important if you have any friends or anybody who's thinking about doing that tell them otherwise because it's harder to change it back but ahead of time it's always good and you know for patients that are considering surgery of replacement I say you have nothing to lose to do these prolozone treatments ahead of time because the only thing that can happen is you can recover and you can get better worst case scenario you're going to have less pain and if you need to do the surgery you're going to have a much faster recovery because of all these treatments so um, just wanted to put it out there for you because I was so inspired today just hearing it from from uh, this patient through his doctor. All right, you guys, that'll be today for the musings. I'll let you, oh yeah, moth medicine, I know. I hope it recorded. I hope I can put these two together. If not, I will, I will just share that again. But you guys, thank you for sharing. Yeah, so it's called, Mary, it's ozone in the joints. So it's prolozone. There's a treatment called prolotherapy that injects the joints but it's asking the body to actually heal through inflammation so we're causing inflammation to heal this is different this goes step above and it's prolozone so it's the same idea of injecting the joints but we're asking the body to heal it because we're supporting nutrients we're actually calming down the inflammation so if you have any more questions let me know on that you guys it was lovely visiting with you i'll try to put the two videos oh this looks cool hey two videos together and oh hi jiva i don't know if i'm pronouncing your name right but it's good to see you yeah it's a great idea and it works the thing that it works because what happens with joints guys real quick they are in generally they have less perfusion in general so they get less nutrients less oxygen and if there is injury there is some stagnation so it's even less than normal plus the metabolites are not leaving so freely so if we can put the nutrients directly into the joint the body literally uses its own fibrocytes and chondrocytes the cells that are present to rebuild cartilage to rebuild the tissue right there so Again, we're asking the body to do what it knows to do best, and that is heal itself by supporting the nutrients into the tissue. Make sense? All right. You guys take care. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye. Take care, everybody. Good night. Blessings.